What's up YouTube, Defragging here, and today I'm going to be going over Blood Death Knight PvP. Uh, first off, starting with the spec. Uh, this is this particular spec that I use at the time. Seeing as Vengeance as of right now is overpowered, I don't bother putting points in bladed armor because I get all the attack power I need from Vengeance. Although in 4.3.2 they are going to be nerfing all uh, tanking classes in PvP, like tanking specs for PvP, they're going to be nerfing them. They're making it to where you can't get vengeance from being hit by a player. Only from uh, like mobs in a dungeon or can actually give you vengeance. So now, prot players aren't going to be doing any damage at all. Prot pallies, uh, prot warriors, blood DKs, they're not going to be able to do anywhere near as much damage as what they used to be able to do. So, I much prefer the uh, on a pale horse talent over bladed armor, over the extra damage from bladed armor, simply because of the reduced time being slowed. It helps you get the flag to uh, where you need to get it to quicker. As for the prime glyphs, I use a glyph of death coil for increased damage, which means more healing, uh, or the increased healing from death coil by 15%. Um, death strike with the increased damage uh, and rune strike because instead of heart strike heart strike you're only really going to be using whenever you need to turn your runes into death runes while rune strike is more going to be the attack you're going to be using for damage so you want it to hit harder or in this case have a 10% more chance of critting for major glyphs I uh, use vampiric blood Bone Shield and Am Shell. Mainly Bone Shield for the 15% movement at speed increase so that I can carry flags faster. Uh, Vampiric Blood uh, so that the health that it gives you in its normal state isn't really that beneficial because it just goes away after you're done or after the time runs out. This, on the other hand, increases all healing you receive by 15%. So anytime you go to cast Lichborn on yourself and start using Death Coils on yourself, you would want to use Vampiric Blood first and then do that so you could get 15% more healing from it. Or anytime you use Rune Tap or something like that. Um, Anti-Magic Shell for... Because where everybody loves to kite Blood DKs, if you have a little bit more time on that Am Shell, it can help reduce the damage from being kited, uh, kited by Frost Mage. Minor Glyphs, Horn of Winter, uh, Resilient Grip, and Blood Tap. Stat Priority, I would say, is 5% hit, 195 uh, sp bleh, percent spell penetration for uh, so your Chains of Ice and your Death Grip and everything don't get resisted. Next would be Resil, Strength, Mastery, Haste, Crit, and Expertise. You want to reforge any haste, crit, and expertise into mastery with uh, the stat priority. As for the gins, uh, do not gem straight stamina and do not gem straight resilience. Resilience pretty much becomes useless after you reach about 4,300. Uh, like, at the point whenever you get 4k resilience, you have 40% damage reduction. So it's like every 1,000 you would get 10% damage reduction but once I got I ended up getting around 4,700 resilience and I only had 44% damage reduction so it just shows that it starts to lose its value after 4,300 so, and you can get that from your gear alone you can get more than that from your gear alone so don't bother gymming resilience it's worthless uh, for your yellow sockets, I would go with the Fractured Lightstone, and for the cheaper solution, it would be the Fractured Amber Jewel. For blue sockets, uh, I would use the Puissant Elven Peridot, and for the cheaper uh, solution, it would be the Puissant Dream Emerald. For red sockets, I would use the Resplendent Lava Coral, and for cheap, so, or the, the cheaper solution would be Respendent Ember Topaz. And for the Meta Socket, you could use the Ostery Shadow Spirit Diamond for the 
increased stamina and armor value. As for the uh, red sockets, um, I would say that it's all right to gym straight strength. I wouldn't say that that would be a bad thing. It would help out on increasing the damage of your death strikes, which would in turn increase your healing and your shield. But uh, if you are a little low on resilience, I would use the uh, 20 strength, 20 resil gems instead. As for the enchants for your helmet, you want to use the Arcanum of the Earthen Ring, or Arcanum of the Earthen Ring. For the legs, you would use the Drake Hide Leg Armor. For the belt, you would use an Ebon Steel Belt Buckle and gym it with a Mastery Gym. Uh, as for boots, enchant boots with Mastery. Bracers, enchant bracer with Major Stamina. Chest, enchant chest peerless stats. Cloak, enchant cloak greater spell piercing. Gloves, enchant gloves with greater mastery. Shoulders, greater inscription of unbreakable quartz. And for your weapon, I would use the Rune of Sword Shattering. I, I say Rune of Sword Shattering instead of Rune of the Fallen, or not Fallen Crusader, but Rune of the Stoneskin Gargoyle. Because Stoneskin Gargoyle just gives you a little bit more armor and gives you more damage, or, or bleh, more health. And health isn't really, that little bit of health isn't all that beneficial compared to a 60% decrease on disarms because warriors will love love to disarm you and they're going to do it a lot because it prevents you from using your death strike from healing yourself it prevents you from using your attacks to get runic power in order to cast lichborns and death coils or in that order to cast lichborn and then death coil heal yourself so what i use is the sword shattering because it reduces the disarm effects by 60% which allows you to get your weapon back quicker and get back to using death strikes and keeping yourself alive. Seems a little bit more beneficial than using uh, stone skin gargoyle. That's just me, but uh, that will cover this basic guide. I'm not going to go into the macros I use. I'm going to make a separate video and update and put all my macros and everything in that video. So you can watch that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.